Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Projects and today I am again come with simple but most useful project for electronics hub based relay switch circuit. So in this video tutorial you will learn how to make your own relay switch circuit, uh, how to identify different pin of relay, uh, how to calculate the value of different component we required like a resistor, which transistor can be used, what the value of current is suitable for the circuit, etc. So let's first start with what is relay. A relay is a device by which electric current flow in one circuit can open or close second circuit that is switch the current on or off in the second circuit. As you can say that in my hand this relay is SPDT single pole double through relay and it have 5 pin 3 pin in one side and 2 pin in another side. Now let's identify the pin of relay that is which one are coil pin, which one are common pin, which one are N N O normally open and which one are NC pin. Now let's identify the pin of relay. Normally you can see that the relay SPDT relay contain 5 pin, 2 is for coil, 1 is common whereas last 2 is for normally open and normally closed. Generally this middle pin is referred as common pin and these two side pin are referred as coil pin as we know that coil has no polarity so it is not compulsory to identify the VCC and ground pin for coil now uh, the task became easy that we only have to identify normally closed and normally open pin in order to identify normally closed pin put the multimeter in continuity test mode whereas one probe connect it to common pin and another is connected to yeah you can see that it's a very low resistance of about 2 ohm that is very low now this pin is referred as normally connected pin and this pin is referred as normally open pin it's a very high resistance of about infinity as you can see that thus in this way we can identify the pin of relay that is these two side by side pin is coil pin this center pin is common pin this pin is referred as normally closed pin and the last one is normally referred as normally open pin as this relay is not directly driven by any microcontroller or Arduino board thus we have to design switching circuit before designing switching circuit we have to calculate what amount of current it required to energize the coil so for calculation in order to calculate the current required to energize the relay we must have knowledge about what ohm's law is because we are going to use ohm's law formula for calculating current required to energize this relay yeah, most of the relay so the resistance of coil on their off side but as you see that this relay only so coil voltage that is 6 volt DC no resistance is shown here but you can check the resistance of coil by using multimeter set it into 2000 or even 200 ohm and check the coil resistance As you can see that it's so about 103.1 ohm resistance so roughly we can take 100 ohm for that now let's start calculating the current required to energize the coil as we know that R coil is equal to 103.1 ohm that is equivalent to 100 ohm B coil is equal to 6 volt DC as you can see here it's a coil 6 volt DC and for resistance we had already measured now from Ohm's law we know that 
v is equal to i into r from this we can calculate i is equal to v by r is equal to 6 by 100 is equal to 0 0.06 ampere that is that is current required to energize the coil is equal to 60 milli ampere now this 60 milli ampere current is very high for Arduino you know board that is generally Arduino uh, board can only give output of about 20 to 40 milli ampere thus uh, directly we cannot energize the relay for that we have to design the switching circuit now the switching circuit can be designed using a general purpose NPN silicon transistor according to a requirement that is according to the coverage required to energize the relay now in order to design switching circuit now we have to find a transistor as from calculation we found that current required that is i coil current required to energize the coil must be greater than 60 milli ampere thus we have to select the transistor whose collector current that is ic must be greater or equal to 60 milli ampere now the transistor i am decided to use here is bc548 according to data sheet of transistor 548 hfe is equal to 75 and the collector current we required is equal to now ic is equal to 60 milli ampere thus from this equation hfe is equal to IC by IB we can calculate the base current for transistor this 548 now from the equation we can calculate base current that is IB is equal to IC by HFE IC is equal to 60 milliampere that is 0 0.06 ampere and hf is equal to 75 by using calculator we can found ib is equal to 0 0.0008 that is 0 0.8 milliampere now current of about current of about 0 0.8 milliampere is required to turn on the transistor but uh, we can but the normal output current of arduino you know a normal micro controller is of about 20 to 40 milliampere which may burn out this transistor in order to protect this transistor we have to use one current limiting resistor to the base of transistor now let's calculate the value for resistor now input voltage as we know that uh, input voltage to the base that is output voltage of Arduino you know board is of about 5 volt DC five volt DC and required current that is base current is equal to 0 0.8 milli ampere now required resistance is equal to what as again we have to use here ohm's law now r is equal to b by i voltage is equal to 5 volt whereas current is equal to 0 0.0008 is equal to 6250 ohm so roughly we can use a resistor of about 5 kilo ohm to 6 kilo 
now let's see the circuit here uh, a current limiting resistor of about 5 kilo ohm is connected between the voltage output of arduino and base of transistor whereas emitter is grounded and from collector you can see that a relay coil is connected that is one coil is connected to the collector whereas another coil is connected to the bcc or supply voltage uh, this supply voltage must be equal to the weighted voltage of coil as you can also see that a diode uh, of In this way you can design your own relay switch circuit. Let's see.